Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're doing a summary on all grade 10 number patterns. Now let's take the following example. Right, if you look at this number pattern, the first thing you have to do is get a constant difference. Now what does that mean? That means you're going to take term 2 minus term 1. Or you can take term 3 minus term 2. If we say 3 minus 5. If we take term 3 minus term 2, we'd have 1 minus 3. And you notice both our answers are minus 2. Now this is what we would call our constant difference. Now if we're doing the formula, the formula is Tn is equal to A n plus B. Now the A is going to be exactly what you had calculated for the constant difference. So what we have now is we have that Tn is equal to minus 2n plus b. But how do we calculate b? In order to calculate b, you have to rewrite the number pattern. So we've got 5, 3, 1, and minus 1. If we look, we were going in multiples of minus 2. So what we have on top is minus 2, minus 4, minus 6, minus 8. What we're trying to get is, what is the difference from this number to this number? So what is the difference from minus 2 to 5? How did I get from minus 2 to 5? How did I get from minus 4 to 3? How am I getting from minus 6 to 1? What we're actually doing is, we are adding 7. If I say minus 2 plus 7, I will get 5. If I say minus 4 plus 7, I will get 3. If I say minus 6 plus 7, I will get 1. So what we're actually doing now is we are adding 7. So once we got A, then we see what is the difference from the multiple which comes from A and the number pattern which is given to you. Then we can get the formula. So the final formula is Tn is equal to, our A is minus 2, which is what you call the constant difference, and then we got plus 7, which is the change from the original multiple to the number pattern. Let us see how they can ask us different questions once we have the equation. Now we have that the equation is Tn is equal to minus 2n plus 7. Now look at the question. They are asking you what is the value of the seventh term. The most common mistake we have is that pupils are not sure what is given when they are saying the seventh term. When they are talking of the seventh term, they usually get confused between Tn and N. When they say the seventh term, they are giving you N. So they are telling us now that N is equal to 7. So what is the value? Value is a reference to Tn. So what is the value of the seventh term? So they want you to solve for Tn. Now you have that n is 7. So we do a substitution. We're simply going to take the 7 and we're going to substitute it into n because that is what was given. So we got Tn is equal to minus 2 into 7 plus 7, which is equal to minus 7. So what is the value of the 7th term? 
the value of the seventh term is minus 7. Now let's do another example. They are saying which term is equal to minus 23. Now you need to understand what are they giving us. Are they giving us Tn or are they giving us N? Now we know the formula is Tn is equal to minus 2N plus 7. When they're asking you which term, then they're asking you to solve for N. What they had given you is Tn. So we're going to substitute minus 23 in Tn's place. And then we are going to solve for n. So if we take the 7 over, we've got minus 30 is equal to minus 2n divided by minus 2 divided by minus 2. And we have n is equal to 15. So which term equals to minus 23? The 15th term will equal to minus 23. Thank you for watching.